So in this video, I'm going to talk about the basic structural anatomy of the nuclear pore complexes. So the nuclear pore complex is just a, a big protein complex that is found on the membrane of the nucleuses that are in the inside of eukaryotic cells. So if you look at the membrane of a nucleus, you'll see these scattered little pore looking things that are actually these nuclear pore complexes and they are massive. They're about 120 million Daltons in molecular mass, and they're about 100 nanometers in diameter, which just makes them an absolutely monstrous molecular machine. Um, the proteins that make them up are called nucleoporins, and they're found in multiples of eight, so it just means that, uh, so they have an eight-fold symmetry. Um, and there's about 30 unique nucleoporins that make up this whole complex. So just a basic review of the um, important structures in the nuclear pore complex, because this is just a kind of a new, a newer topic, and we don't really know some of the functions of this structure yet. So I'm just going to go over the most important ones that we know for sure. So this is the cytoplasmic side, and this is the inside of the nucleus. So on the outside, you can see these little stringy lined, uh, stringy substances and these are called cytoplasmic filaments and they kind of act like sensors that can actually bind to certain signals that are attached to molecules that are trying to get inside the nucleus and once they get through and pass and they bind to these cytoplasmic filaments they're going to come to this inside of this pore here and they're going to hit this plug and what this plug is is a bunch of FG repeats so the FG stands for phenylalanine glycine repeats. So this part of the nuclear pore complex is really hydrophobic and really disordered. So it acts like a plug, so not just anything can flow through. And that's about it. That's all there really is to know. It's a bunch of phenylalanine and glycine repeats. And once they get past that, they're going to go to the inside to this thing structure called the nuclear basket and right now it has an unknown function we don't really know what it does we know it's there for sure if you look at the underneath uh, if you're looking at the from the inside out on the of the pores you can see this little basket structure but that's about all we know about it so once the molecule or protein gets inside the nucleus there are a bunch of processes that happen in order for it to come unbound to the protein that brought it in brought it in which is usually an important and what brings it back out would be an export in and i'll talk about all that stuff in a different video